Biggest issues on the ballot in the city today is the Bring Chicago Home referendum. It would allow the city council to vote on whether to raise the real estate transfer tax. Proceeds would fund programs for the homeless. WGN's Kelly Davis is following this issue for us. Hello, Kelly. Hey, Ben and Lourdes, voters will decide the fate of Mayor Johnson's Bring Chicago Home referendum today. This comes after multiple court challenges leading up to Election Day. Vote yes for Bring Chicago Home. One last push to pass Mayor Johnson's proposed real estate transfer tax hike. Supporters staked out polling places across the city, encouraging voters to check yes. We're really excited about it. It's going to provide a dedicated funding stream to help our homeless neighbors. 47th Ward Alderman Matt Martin is asking voters to give City Council the power to increase taxes on expensive properties and use the money to help the homeless. We want to make sure that people have all the information they need before they make a really important and informed decision. Chicago's current real estate transfer tax is a flat tax of 0.75% on all property sales. The proposal would decrease that tax to 0.6% on properties sold under a million dollars. But properties sold between one and one and a half million dollars would be taxed at 2%, and more expensive properties would be taxed at 3%. This ordinance as written, or this referendum, uh, is really going to impact a lot more renters than people might assume. I voted no. Um, for the Bring Chicago Home, I'm, I um, think it imp has a big impact on renters. Opponents warn it would also have a detrimental impact on commercial real estate, causing fewer businesses to relocate into the city. Anything that increases the operating expenses for any property owner or any business for that matter uh, is eventually uh, you know, passed down to tenants. If the ordinance passes, supporters say it could generate up to $100 million in tax revenue to fight homelessness. The money would go towards various projects and shelter initiatives. It's wrong in a city like Chicago to have this many people sleeping on the streets, this many people couch surfing, not having a place to call home. And so this will provide a way for people to have a home in, in this city. Opponents agree, but say taxing property owners will only increase the cost of housing throughout the city. So this isn't the solution. We need to work together to find a solution that's really going to be equitable for everyone in the city, whether they have a home or they don't. Voters approve the measure. City Council will then take it up, and it could take effect as soon as January 1st of next year. We are keeping a close eye on the numbers, and we'll have an update for you after polls close at 7 p.m.